friends welcome to part 12 of our react native beginner series so it's been a while since i recorded because i i was caught up with some work but i'm glad to be back again so you know so i'm looking at native and custom alerts inside of react native be sure to subscribe if you haven't please like this video please share and comment as well all right so welcome back okay so let's look at the native alerts before we move to the custom alerts. So what i mean by native alerts is that um, react native provides an alert um, component so to use alert component just as you have in this example side you would have to import the alert component from react native um but before we do so let me add a touchable opacity and add some styling to the touchable opacity okay so great so let's see and uh, try this so i added an press which fires up don't um, don't forget to subscribe and this is just regular javascript okay so good so when you press this you get an alert and boom okay but then there's more to this so i can essentially get rid of this guy and add a handle alert function here and let's use the regular alert from um react native so great um and let's create the function down here so we do const handle alerts you set that to an arrow function and i'm sure um my friend ah he didn't even access and he did github copilot has given me something okay so from this alert component you can do alerts so when i get rid of this alert and i use the dot operator dot we get prompt and alerts so let's look at the alert what this alert one does before so you can pass the title of a message here um let's see um my app and something like do you really want to log out okay so great so we have this object so we can pass in so we have the text and set it to cancel and i'm on press so you can uh, fire up a function or something so let me see if this so that you see how this works and you can customize the tickets okay so i'm going to go ahead and press and you see my app so the name of your app can come here so this is native android style okay so great okay so let's try the prompt one okay so um with the alert prompt i just popped in this so it most, mostly works with text inputs, right? Okay, cool, great. So let me get rid of everything here and show you how to use some custom alerts. So we're just using some packages and uh, yeah, okay. So let me clean this up a bit and uh, okay. So now let's head over to our browser and uh, we're going to be installing this package. I found this package, so it was published eight months ago. At the time of recording this video so there are some other ones i was just looking for the other one but i couldn't find this so go ahead and install this whether using npm or yarn and you can see my package.json file where are you okay so i have this i have this i have it installed here okay so now let's go ahead and uh let's grab this code so once you are done installing so open a new terminal and pop that in so npm install boom okay um so to use this uh okay so we've done the import wrongly so you go into the entry of your app so let's just see here i'm going to pop this in here and i can do flash message from react native and i can set position and i can set it to top so that it comes from the top all right great so if you if you enter your app as index.js index.ts whatever it is just pop it in there okay so um so now we can import show message from react Native flash message and let's add an unpress here so show success alert or oh, let's just do it show alert okay so great so i'm going to go here and do const um okay so this arrow function and in here let's do show message and so we can pass in some couple of things so let's go to their documentation and see what we can pass okay so let's go okay so great okay so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste this here if everything is wired up correctly so let's start so when i press you see hello world and this is so beautiful so i can actually add a duration i can set that to um 
three seconds or let's just do it um okay so three microseconds should be fine and when i press boom you can also add an icon so you can do icon and you can set that to um success okay so great so one okay there's a background one too i've not tried this before um let me get rid of this background and let's press boom I see the icon shoes so, so when i press control space bar control space i see we have danger we have info so we can try danger to as well and all the icons to have their so when i do for danger apologies about my file okay so great so we can also do info so this is a really great library i plan on i'll be doing a tutorial on how to create an npm um, package and like a react native npm package and you can push it um okay so now let's try one last thing uh okay let's just do default and see what this gives us oh, okay so that's nice okay so essentially guys this is how to add um an alert inside of react native being it a native alert or a custom alert uh, maybe in the next tutorial i would have found the other package but this one is really great and easy to use okay so thanks for watching this one then um, don't forget to subscribe